Solange Mujan, who's following the story for us. Solange, just first of all, tell us what you can tell us about uh, what's happening in this fire. Well, as you said, it did break out around 2.40 a.m. That's at least when firefighters were uh, called to the scene. Uh, witnesses said they heard loud explosions coming from the site. Now, a perimeter has been placed around the factory, or, or some 500 meters around the factory uh, where the fire is blazing. And the prefecture says they don't know actually how many people are within that perimeter at the moment. But again, uh, they they think no one has been killed. Um, there are the residents of 12 towns, including the, the 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 city of Rouen, have been told to stay at home. All schools in the area are closed uh, to ensure that children don't go out because of the smoke, because of the danger of the smoke. At 7:30 in the morning, there was an alarm. Alarms, uh, warning alarms went off uh, to warn residents to stay inside. Uh, some witnesses say that, that they saw people about. Obviously, people who didn't know what those warning. Uh, uh, sirens meant. Um, there are, as you said, uh, just under uh, 200 firefighters on the scene, some 60 uh, firefighting vehicles, and uh, according to the Firefighter Commission, more teams are coming from around France uh, are on their way. Now, exactly what is this factor? I mean, do we know how dangerous it is? Well, the company that makes it, Librazol, is a company that was was uh, founded in 1954 to make additives for paint, um, and they currently make additives for oils. Um, it has a safety tag of Seveso. Now, this is a very high-risk uh, warning uh, label for the factory. Uh, there are only 600, 656 in France that have that warning label, so it just shows us how uh, dangerous the products inside are. Uh, in fact, there was actually another fire at uh, another Lubrizol France uh, um, factory earlier this month. It was quickly contained. Um, uh, the government, in regard to the dangers, say that uh, they have no elements at the moment to find to know how how risky it is, um, but that uh, it's no normal for people seeing all that black smoke to be alarmed. Of course, this uh, does raise uh, some skepticism of people because uh, people, as you may remember, uh, f uh, are thinking of Notre Dame and the the news that came out after the fact that there was lead uh, in, in the air and then that it had fallen to the ground. So people are quite worried about what's in, in that smoke. Yeah, inevitably, I suppose, looking at those uh, pictures and images that we've been uh, seeing. Solange, thanks very much. Of course, we'll continue to follow that story for you here on France 24, particularly as uh, we get new information coming in, but uh, continuing to follow that story of that huge fight there in Rouen.